guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode one of Dropout Fruit Idol Tart. Okay, so you can see right here that I now officially have a microphone after like, what, me being on YouTube for now four years now, and I finally have one of these. Um, so I've tested it out for a while, but ish. So you're gonna hear it if it feels right, we're good. If it's not, you know, mm. But yeah, other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode one in three, two, one. Go. Oh, pretty surroundings, kind of. Yeah. Oh, she's pretty. She looks like Nadu. Like, so a little close, but not too, too much. She's so fucking cute. Oh my god. <laughs> she even kind of has like her little, um, her barrette in her hair is very similar to Naru from, um, Hani Yamata, except Naru's is more of a, um, light pinkish. She's so cute. You're going to hear me say that a lot throughout these next few episodes. She's cute. She's adorable. <laughs> I wonder if they're going to put like Easter eggs to the other um, series that co they've created. Like um, not only Hani Amata, but the Demon Girl Next Door or literally any... <laughs> Poor Sakura. Hmm? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Her hair is so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> The one who always eats sweets. <laughs> Look at her barrette. Oh my god. Rico? Roko. Hayu? And Nina. And Nina's voice sounds familiar to me. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, yeah, because you still look like a kid, Roko. That's right. Mm hmm. Well, yeah, I think Sakura is taller than you, Roko. Oh, that sucks. Because, mm. like, what? Naru? No, Hina was the shortest in Hanayamata. So Sakura would be, would be uh, I can't speak represented as a strawberry. Roko would probably be like a blueberry. Um, Nina an orange possibly, and then Haya Hayu as a cherry. I said cherry wrong, but cherry. Yeah. Uh. -uh. Yeah, you're in Tokyo, just in a different part. <laughs> Ooh. 
Oh god, what the hell? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Mouse Rangers. <laughs> Are you guys going to perform for her? <laughs> oh, okay. Baby Roku was like, oh shit, my past is coming to haunt me again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Poor baby. I mean, she's like, what? Okay, if Sakura's like 15, she could be, They all seem like they're either 15 or 16. But because she's so short, I get the fact is why she's still getting child roles. Maybe she needs to do something to be like, hey, I'm no kid anymore. I'm an adult. Technically, I'm a teenager, so this is what I can do. <laughs> like her rebellious face. Seriously? I mean, hold on. Sakura just got here. <laughs> oh. Mm. Well, yeah, that makes the most sense to, you know, demolish his house and the company and everything. Mm. Mm -hmm. And that's why you have Sakura, and that's why we're using the name of the show. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Free tart. Oh, we're getting the opening! But there was like five girls. So I'm guessing the fifth and final girl is supposed to come later. Yeah, her. The one who kind of looks like Nico a little bit. If Nico had, like, well, Nico has longer hair anyway. Um, if Nico just was in more of a pigtail thing. Well, Nico has pigtails anyway. Like, mm. But she's cute. <laughs> oh. So is this last girl going to be represented as, like, a kiwi? Because she has blueberries on her. <laughs> I'm hungry. Even the eating things want to eat. Oh my god, look at that cute too. Little badass, but cute. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's that jump that we always see. It makes me wonder. Oh. Um, specifically with the, um, performances that we're probably going to see in this series, because 
it is an idol series, so the biggest thing is I'm wondering, are the performances going to be CGI? Are they going to be 2D? We're in a time where it's a little bit of both, but if they do a 2D performance, I'm fine with that. If it's CGI, fine with that as well. It's up to them at the end of the day. This show is technically already over because they've done everything, but yeah. Mm -hmm. I wish I could wake up like that in the mornings because me, I am like ah. <laughs> you guys don't be depressed it's gonna be fun well yeah you're really an actor but you never know you just gotta try it out of course, you're excited about it, Ayo. Curry? <laughs> but Roko, isn't it better to just share with everybody? I mean... Colorful she is. So y'all been eating straight up curry for Jesus. Wouldn't you get a little tired of that though? Mm. Yeah, I think she'll be fine with it. It might be fun. Well, too late. You're already becoming an idol, so suck it up. Mm. Can we transfer that into American dollars so that I don't know? Because, I mean, that is a lot of money, but, I mean, ooh. shade this woman got. I love her. <laughs> well, Nina, that is a good reasoning. Yeah. But if you become an idol, it can enhance your modeling career. You can do a lot of other things. Uh, Oroko's reason is just because she don't want to do it. She's fine being a child actor. <laughs> exactly. Sweets, food, um, what else? Like, literally anything. But you like sweets, don't you? I mean, that's a really good temptation. If it was me, I'd take it in a heartbeat. Especially if it's, like, cheesecake. Love cheesecake. It's the best thing ever. Or if you give me cake and cheesecake. Oh. Plus to the fact is that my birthday is on Sunday, so, mmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, she can just film with her camera. I mean, you know, most people will just use either their phone or just a regular camcorder like that and start out. But there will be times where you need to go to, like, the studio to record something. 
So maybe at that time you might want more production. I'm just saying. Uh. I mean, but that's simple, though. What are you doing? Ask how Mickey comes. Oh, okay. But Cody walked towards you, though, right? Hold on. You would think these girls would be selling like pamphlets of themselves or flyers of themselves. Not a. F <laughs> hmm? I, I mean, I hope the manager has a good idea about this because I don't see it. <laughs> Yeah, that would have been helpful. Like, you could have did, like, that raffle thing that I've seen in other animes before. Hmm. Is she? Oh, she's about to play. <laughs> raising the bar but I think if Roko and Sakura had moved <laughs> poor Roko I'm gonna be doing short dogs for the next few <laughs> That was cute. Exactly, Roko. So maybe I, being an idol is not that bad. And see, like a hi, hi you. Like here, take a play here. <laughs> oh. It's not a lot, but it's a little bit. Oh, so no. Hayu has the strawberry. Then what does he, uh, Sakura have then? <laughs> oh, oh god, Roka. <laughs> did that on purpose. <laughs> well, honestly, I really have nothing. Well, you're a model. You have talent. Being beautiful is your talent. <laughs> 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 Baby, <laughs> really, I'm a sign. Oh. She's so 
good at what she does. <laughs> I mean, because she has a warming personality. All four of them have warming personalities as well. They all have something that is a certain niche or itch that they need for the group. And it's cute. It's adorable. Oh. I'm guessing, like, Sakura's fruit may be peach. That's all I can really think of. Because when you think of pink... Peaches is the only thing. I mean, there are there any other pink fruits that I don't know about? Um, no, dragon fruits are like a neon darker p pink color. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Perfect. See? The things that you guys can do together? You just need your one more person in the group and I'm guessing she's not coming to like episode 5. Yeah. <laughs> See, you say that now and this is only episode 1 but by the end of the series she's gonna be like I'm okay to be a clown. Like, I'm fine with that. <laughs> okay. This was really cute. I loved it. I love the characters. They're all adorable. I'm just... <laughs> I'm hoping that, you know, this is going to go really well. I mean, for our first episode, it was good. I, I love the fact that it made me laugh, not cry, but really made me laugh a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Almost how much um, the demon girl next door made me laugh. And thank God that that is getting a second season because... I love the craft out of that show. It was one of my personal favorite shows and personal fave reactions that I did from when that show started because it was such an underrated show and only the people who were really excited for it knew about it and such. And that's what it seems like with this show. I don't know how many people are really going to do a reaction on this show because, you know, we as reactors already have a lot of shows lined up. And sometimes we don't really have time to do everything. I had already had this show on my lineup because I had been waiting for this since March. And the fact that it's finally here and I get to see these girls together and starting their journey as an idol group. It's just so adorable. I mean, uh, it, it gives me feels through literally almost every other series that um, the Kira Kira um, manga group has made. And even though I don't play uh, Kira Kira Fantasy anymore... Maybe I'll get back into playing it one day. I don't know. I know that they're currently referencing these girls because they're the newest anime. Really? I just want to know, where where did you put this episode? Did this air on television, which I'm guessing I did, or did it air on the computer, like on YouTube or some ish? Manager? <laughs> I mean, of course it was. What, what was it gonna be? <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> you would think it would be the other way around, but no. Oh, they're so cute. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun with this series, honestly. This also gives me feels to... What was that one other show um, that I watched like two seasons ago? It was the girls... Because I think it's also made by the people who made this. The girls who did... Who, who liked space. The space cute girls anime thing. I don't remember the name right now. But by the time I remember it, it'll probably be by the time this comes out. Um... But each girl is adorable. Even though we haven't seen the fifth and final girl, I'm guessing we're not going to see her until later on because I figured, I, I kind of assumed that she was already going to be in this first episode. And so to see, you know, 
Hina, um, Roko, and Haya, Hayu, it's going to take a while to get used to, Hayu there and not the last girl besides Sakura herself is a little weird, but I'm guessing she's not going to come until at least episode two to episode five. Then you also have to take the two girls who were kind of giving me, and I cannot believe I'm about to compare this to, um, Love Live, but looking at it and the way this group is going, they seem like they might be like the Saint Snow or the, um, oh my God, I don't remember was it Eyes, I believe, for this, for Muse's Love Live season? I don't really remember. I would have to go back and look. Um, the rival group for them. But it's only two girls. Then you have the girls with the pink and blue hair. And then the girl with the purple hair who has kind of the same hairstyle as Roko. And I'm guessing they're also going to be a rival group to them as well. They seem interesting, but I'm guessing because of the fact is this is the first episode and we're only really seeing their first introductions from the opening. They don't really look that bad. They kind of give me the vibes of, um, what is the name? Oh my God. Uh, the, the group from Pretty Pata in season one with not, um, who were the rivals to So Let Me Smile that group I think it was like dressing parfait or something I don't really remember because it's been a long time since I've watched Pretty Bada and I barely really remember like itch but yeah they seem like that I, I don't I hope and pray that there's not really a lot of like mean girls in here who are like one minute they're nice to your face and then behind your back they're like mean and ish but yeah everybody seems fun I really like the manager I think she's a really interesting character um she kind of reminds me of um what's his face from Zombieland Saga and how he's like yeah we're gonna try to do everything to get money because their goal is to not you know lose this project and getting demoted and losing the house and everything and then going back to their regular lives so Sakura or Eno basically has come at really not at a good time but not at a bad time in a way good time bad time apple and oranges in that way but I think with not only Sakura's help but also the last girl's help they will be able to get this project done and for it to be like a top tier quality Mwah, goodness but we ain't really gonna know until we see later on to the series but for a first episode it was cute and adorable as hell and I loved it but yeah other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode one of dropout idol fruit tart if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next monday for episode two bye guys